Scowl for Allen Ginsberg. I have seen the best radio station of my generation refuse to air a poem long since judged to be not obscene. While the airwaves are full of obscenities of greed and meanness and pandering to an unconstitutional regime, because Congress bowed to the e-mirage of an army of protesters offended at the fleeting glimpse of the tip of a nip and fined the broadcaster even after the sound of a crowd turned out to be a lot of bot and not a spontaneous uprising of disgust at a display that offended an enormous portion of a decent community. The size of the fine that a media giant took in stride was enough to frighten an independent outlet into preemptive compliance with the wishes of an imaginary majority. On the 50th anniversary of a poem whose fame and influence has rippled through our nation for generations, the voice of the poet reciting his own words will not be aired on the public airways of a nation that calls itself free. There is no howl today, but in its absence, there is no silence either. For silence is another crime for which a radio station can be fined. There will be hundreds of stations distributing chatter and images and commentary on topics from the frivolous to the clinical. The offending moment has been blurred and replayed. But there is no howl today.